Wuthering Heights 91.8 Hayes FM Wednesday evening. Liz Arcane and the White Lightning are in the studio, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. They're through to the area final, the Grand National semi final of Vodafone's Live and Unsigned. They'll be at the Beck Theatre. Nisha Chopra, what date? 2nd of May, so be there. Yeah, be there. And uh, yeah, if people can, can you vote? Can guys, can people vote for you even if they're not, don't come through to the area final? There's a wildcard thing, isn't there? But yeah. I'm not really sure how that works. That's like um, an internet based. But you have to pay um, money, I think, to vote for us. I think that's, I think that's <laughs> for people who haven't gone through. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah, so you really have to be there and you know, give a little ticket. So I think part of it is the judges' vote. Is, is it the majority is the judges' vote? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. In this, the, the area final, it's the, the winner and the two runners up that go through mm. from each heat. Right, okay. Okay, uh, and, and when you get through to, I assume the ultimate culmination of it all is you get to the grand final, you win it, and then you get a contract. That's the dream, isn't it? I think what yeah. they do actually, they put, um, do, you, do you get signed? You do at the end, don't you? But I know they put through a lot of money towards you doing some recordings. Right. And you can win a lot of prizes along the way. There was something about um, like a rock prize, a rock band's sister. You get to go to India and represent the country or something in another competition. Wow. And you can win a lot of money doing that. That's like a along the way kind of prize. So the martial arts as well. Yeah, you get a professional there. music video done as well, apparently. Yeah. Have you got? Yeah, guys, haven't done any any video type stuff yet. We're doing on oh. Sunday. Oh doing? really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. but which song is that? That's for. Um, yeah, hopefully. As the name of the song implies, will it be filmed in an office? <laughs> or well, is that just well, maybe really cliche? Actually, yeah. You would save lots of money on a prop there, I think, because you work in an office. Good yeah. thinking. However, it's a kind of metaphorical title, so. So, so it wouldn't really work. Because nah. it's kind of about, actually, there was a line that if you. Uh, if you see me again, I'll have to cauterise. Uh, if you touch me again. If you touch me again, I'll have to cauterise. Yeah. Is that right? Uh, cauterising is... It's like a burning to seal a wound. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can see. All right, OK. I won't yeah. go any further with that, then. Uh, 6300, text to start your message with live. Uh, guys, Tigger is bouncing around to your great tunes. Kiss, a Tigger kiss to Joe. Kiss, kiss. Ooh. Joe, over me, Tigger. Are you piglet? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and also, uh, Punkatit really thinks that you can win the competition, keep it live and real, he or she says. Punkatit. <laughs> that's that's what it says, Punkatit. Oh, punk at it. Thank you. Punk, punk at it. Punk at it. <laughs> punk at it. <laughs> on the brain. Got it on the brain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, really, Chris? Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, it says, uh, keep, keep it real. Um, okay, guys, we're just going to change the subject a little bit here um, because Whitney Houston, as I mentioned earlier in the show, was performing in Birmingham last night. I say performing, it wasn't really performing, was it? Uh, no, but she gave it a go. <laughs> <laughs> right, before before Gosh. we explain exactly how she sounded last night, um, we'll play you a little clip, and this is what she's supposed to sound like. That is Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You, right? But it's not actually Whitney Houston. Do you know who that is? It's Lin Yu Chun, who they were, he was in the paper a few weeks ago, wasn't he? He Basically, there's this uh, pop idol style contest in Taiwan, and he won it singing that. He's this little 24 year old guy with a bowl haircut, and that's how he sounds singing Whitney <laughs> Houston's song, right? So that's Lin Yu Chun from Taiwan singing Whitney Houston's song. This is Whitney Houston singing her song last night in Birmingham. Seriously. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> right, that's that, that's enough. Get rid of that because it's oh, really. No. I mean, how bad is that? I 
I'm speechless. That's How crazy. bad is that? I could sing better than that, Paul, honestly. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Don't, perfect. please, don't. But I mean, I feel better about my I, I assume you guys, you don't seem to me like Whitney Houston fans, Liz, Joe, Chris, no? Mm -mm, no. no, but you have to say, I, I can't believe people weren't asking for their money back. No, they were actually. They were. Oh, were a lot they? Of, yeah, a lot of people were saying, oh, I want to walk out. You know, a lot of people walked out and a lot of people asking for refunds because apparently, you know, she she took ages getting on stage. She um, she was wanted to get dressed between songs and, you know, people were mostly like not even hearing her sing, just hearing her talk. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of people weren't happy. But, I mean, that is just... Uh, uh, what What's weird is, yeah, okay, fine, she had a sore throat. Why would you go, surely in rehearsals, mm. as a band, you guys rehearse, you know, she must do rehearsals before she goes out. What, did she sound absolutely fantastic? And then when it came to the actual moment, did you know she was rubbish? Or, or did everyone, did she go, do I sound really, and everyone went, no, no, thumbs up, Whitney, you sound really good. <laughs> That's what? the kind of deep thing, though, isn't it? I mean, she probably wouldn't get told if she was rubbish. It's like with Mariah Carey, didn't she um, want to have 20 live kittens on stage or something, and about a thousand people bodyguarding her, and that was fine. The you know. pitfalls of fame, guys, remember exactly, that. Yeah. Remember that, because if you are rubbish, and I'm, I'm going to tell you you're rubbish, <laughs> Thank would, you. would you appreciate that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we can't give you cats. We can only give you Jaffa cake. So don't be uh, asking us for cats. Can't eat cats. Back. <laughs> <laughs> In some countries, like Taiwan. Yeah. Well, you, you absolutely can. I just asked uh, Lin Yu Chun, who sung her exactly. song correctly. Exactly. He's Amazing really that. 24 year old kid. You can see that on YouTube, by the way. Uh, go to YouTube, stick in Lin Yu. Yeah, actually, generally, if you stick in Whitney Houston, uh, it'll come up with the guy singing. It'll come up higher in the rankings than her. Yeah, she, he, she's second fiddle now to the guy who can actually sing her song. <laughs> well, absolutely. They switch personalities like in big. <laughs> it's, it's a good theory, Chris Mark from Liz Arcane and the White Lightning. Um, she was also in, wasn't she a part of X Factor or Pop Idol? Or yeah, she was helping teaching to... uh, people how to reach high notes, believe it or not. Now, I'm not being funny, right? But if you'd stepped up in front of Simon Cowell and done that, you would have probably got something like this. That, I mean, that he basically sums up. That's the kind of thing he would have said, wouldn't he? No, it is. It is definitely. No. <laughs> that was actually about you, wasn't it, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Mark Machado, give us a quick rendition of "I Will Always Love You." Oh, it's, it's I want to see if it's worse than Whitney Houston. I, I, don't, I don't think the frequency will get. Oh, look! This is Whitney out. Houston. Now here's Mark Machado. I couldn't put you guys through it. I like you guys too much. <laughs> I don't think it would be worse than Whitney Houston. <laughs> Uh, guys, have you had a good time? Uh, not, not Mark Machado and Nisha Chopra and Sydney, <laughs> they're always here, but Liz, Chris and Joe, have you had a good time this evening? Yeah. Yeah. Remind us again uh, where we can find out more about the band Liz Arcane and the White Linings. By the way, you're wearing very fetching t-shirts with oh, L-A-W-L on there the front. There is a bit of a food stain there actually. But... <laughs> I, was, I, was, I didn't actually see that, but <laughs> it's, it's it an out. important part of the pattern. Uh, yeah, guys, yeah, where can we find out more about the band and also uh, remind us again, Beck Theatre, what day what are you playing with? Well, it's the 2nd of May. We're in the third show, which I think is at 8 8.30. 8.30, yeah. but get there at 8. <laughs> and um, that's, uh, we'll be doing our uh, entry for the, is it the regional? Area. area. The area finals to get to the O2. And your website? We have myspace.com forward slash Liz Arcane Music, facebook.com forward slash Liz Arcane Music, and youtube.com forward slash Lovely. Thank you very much. That is yeah. Joe Albany, Chris March, and Liz Arcane from Liz Arcane Thanks. and the Lightning.